my grandparents were uh, different in the sense that it was a shidduch, and my grandmother was very intellectual, and she read that tog, and three times a week she would force me to sit down and listen to B.Z. Goldberg's column, and he was a sort of Walter Lippmann, uh, you might not know that name, it was way before your time, Walter Lippmann, political analyst. And she was just crazy about B.Z. Goldberg, who was Sholem Aleichem's son-in-law. So uh, I got the uh, Yiddish intellectual side from her. She had translations of Guy de Maupassant and uh, all sorts of classical writers. And uh, he was not, my grandfather was not at all interested in those things because uh, in European society, for one thing, the butcher was considered the, the lowest when it came to being educated. And my uh, mother and father were vegetarians, as were Noah and I, and we got our unique, our sustenance from these grandparents who ran a butcher store. So one end of the table, they were eating meat, and at the other end, we were eating butternuts and avocados. And so on the one hand, my mother and father were filling me with all this. They weren't really communists. They used to call themselves sympathizers. And on the other hand, at the same table, you know, like Friday nights, my grandmother would bench licht and uh, keep a kosher home and get the house ready for Passover. So uh, in a way, I was lucky that I had the complete world, and they were Lubavitchers. And uh, every year at Simchas Torah, my grandfather and his friends used to leave Passaic and go to, uh, maybe it was, I don't know where it was, Borough Park or someplace, to dance in the street with the Torah. 